Hello everyone, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the improvements made to the Total War Rome Remastered UI in the latest patch 2.0.4. So when uh, Total War Rome Remastered first released, a lot of people really lambasted it for the UI. Now, when I reviewed it, I was not as harsh on the UI, but I did mention that I did have some issues with it. I mean, I was... Uh, you know, extremely used to the original UI, which I'm sure is the case for pretty much uh, most of the people who got uh, Rome Remastered. Um, a lot of it, it's quite different in a lot of ways, but similar in others, and it just took a lot of getting used to. And of course, at the beginning, um, there were certain things that took more clicks uh, to get to in terms of the UI. Uh, but now in the latest patch, there are actually a lot of pretty nice adjustments and fixes to the UI. So uh, first of all, uh, my main problems with the UI had to do with a couple of factors. So one was that certain things like changing tax levels required uh, more clicks. And the other issue for me was that uh, building and unit descriptions were kind of tucked away on the left side in a tiny box. So for example, uh, it, it, this was the only option here, right? And this is just not, you know, very nice. So basically, um, uh, this is kind of inspired, I would say, by the modern Total War titles. So like in Rome 2, for example, you'll uh, right click on a unit and then you'll get, you know, the sort of stat rundown and effects rundown on the left side in this small box here. Now, um, it's fine, right? It's fine in terms of if you just want to get stats and things of that nature, but if you want a description, if you want to see everything bigger, this is not great. It's not ideal, right? So, and of course, this is something, it, it doesn't really affect vanilla too much because, of course, vanilla has very generic sort of units in a lot of ways, like, I don't know, Eastern infantry, right? So, uh, descriptions and things of that nature are not going to be that interesting, right, for a uh, unit like that, or archers, right, or Eastern archers, something like that. That's not super interesting. So, a lot of people are not going to be that interested in the description right, which takes another click to get to, right, if in the original uh, Rome Remastered UI. But if you're playing uh, something that's more historically in-depth, right, if you're playing something like Europa Barbarorum or you're playing something like uh, Chivalry, where the history, the context is important not only for description purposes but also for... Um, not only for, you know, the context, but also for gameplay, right? It's important sometimes to know about the background of the unit so that you can actually figure out how you're supposed to use it or the logic behind it, right? Why it's designed that way. Uh, so that was really not good. Like for Europa Barbarorum, this system is not great because if it's to the left and kind of behind another button here, right, then it's it's just not convenient and it's not, uh, it's immersion breaking, right, because you don't want to do this and it's really hard to like scroll through this, read it, the font is a bit small uh, for a lot of users, you know, this, this font is small, I have it actually a bit bigger than usual, if I'm not mistaken, on the 120% setting, uh, that's what I'm on right now. So the big thing here for me is that now in this new patch, we've got this Maximize Details button. So boom. Now we've got a normal, huge, central, uh, large description box for both units and buildings. And the other great thing about this is that uh, Rome Remastered saves this setting, right? So th the program actually remembers... Uh, if you have maximized the details so you don't have to go into the campaign and change your setting every time. You can simply keep it on 
whichever setting you want. You know, maybe some people prefer this smaller box, especially, I don't know, if they're coming from a more modern title or if they prefer seeing the campaign map at all times. Maybe they prefer that. I prefer this. Um, it's more immersion. It's better for the immersion, right? The immersion factor. And for, I mean, crossbowmen are not the most interesting unit in terms of historical context. But, um, of course, uh, th this is not a good example because the description is small, but whatever. You know what I'm saying. Uh, in any case, th this really affects in-depth mods, like, you know, extended cultures, for example. Let's take a look at some buildings here, right? So if you've got the small box here, there are a lot of things you can uh, ignore or not notice, right? There are, like, for example, we have the Catholic churches and monasteries building here. And look, the, the UI with this small box in the left is not ideal for such a building that has so many effects, right? There are so many things you can miss. There are so many... It's just messy. It's not... It's immersion breaking. That's what it is, right? And, you know, for mods like Extended Cultures 5 or Europa Barbarorum, this is a nightmare, right? Because, you know, especially Extended Cultures 5, the building effects and the descriptions can go on for ages and ages, right? So we just go to Maximize Details, there are no UI clipping issues. There are no issues at all. You can just see everything. It's very clear, right? And everything is explained, okay? And then the building browser also looks quite nice. And it it's a good transition between the big descriptions and the building browser, of course. So, other than that, Um, it's really important to have that because then you can sort of read the descriptions, read the effects in detail without having to scroll through tiny boxes. And it allows you to understand the logic behind constructing certain buildings better, right? And it's more relaxing, right? If you have a big piece of text right in the center, it's more relaxing than having to squint at the left corner. That was probably my biggest complaint about the UI actually because as a as a campaign guy more than a battles guy that really bothered me. That was the thing that bothered me the most and now that has been really fixed for me personally 100%. Um, I'm going to quickly show you something. So we're going to go back to the main menu and you can see in the loading screen actually thanks to new team member in chivalry, uh, Ghanim. Uh, the quotes and the faction icons have been made in a more sort of medieval two and original Rome style, right? So actually the quotes are at the bottom and they don't interfere with uh, the chivalry Total War logo at the top of the lo loading screens. Of course, those are the original chivalry loading screens. I have not uh, changed them as of yet. I might change them in the future, but now, of course, the quotes look much nicer on the loading screen. So thank you, Ganim, for that. So I think that's it for this video today. If you like videos about the historical Total Wars and their mods, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel, consider liking this video, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Later.